I'm going to be starring some summer crops today. I got some determinate Roma tomatoes. These are going to get bushy and just make one big harvest and then I pluck the plant out. And then I have indeterminate tomatoes here. These are going to be for snacking and they're going to keep producing until the cold gets them. The determinate Roma tomatoes are going to be perfect for canning and making tomato sauce. Purple and Italian basil should be perfect for drying. Two varieties of eggplants and you probably noticed the date on it. It is okay to work through your old seeds. I like to work through my old seeds first before I purchase new ones, but the germination rate does decrease over time, so I will pre-sprout them in the yogurt tubs like I am doing today, and then I will prick them out and put them in their individual seed trays. And then I will be starting a second sowing of peppers, basically backup peppers. I have some here, but the cats have been nomming on it. You can start your containers in something much smaller like egg cartons, but I get lazy at watering them every day since they're so small. I have potting mix filled up uh, three quarters of the way and then the top inch is seed mix. This has been really cost efficient for me for the last five years and I really like it. I can get a big bag of potting mix for like 10 bucks and it's high in nutrients, but the seed mix, it has the right texture for starring seeds. So I like to use a little bit of it. It looks like a lot of seeds, but I want backups. I also have room in my berry patch since I won't be splitting babies until fall time and I can always give away the extras or sell them somewhere. I'm just going to lightly cover these seeds up with the seed starting mix. I gently moistened them and now I'm going to let them germinate in here. <laughs> 